Let's see if we can do it. Silent death. Hello guys, and welcome back to another sponsored Forgotten But Unbroken video today by me, Falcon. In the previous video, we took a good look at a lot of the mechanics this game has to offer, and I'd certainly recommend going back and checking it out if you missed it. Today, however, we will be continuing with the campaign and exploring the next mission available in this fun World War II turn-based tactics game. As of recording this video, if you like the look of the game, the demo is still available on Steam, so check it out while you can. But today we're going to be heading to Slovakia and we are going to be destroying some Flak 88s for the Red Army. So let's see what we've got to do. Artillery point. Allies are planning a large operation in the area. However, German 88mm guns are causing significant problems on the ground and in the air. These guns must be destroyed for the operation to proceed successfully. Tips. Be aware of the enemy elite SS units. They are the most dangerous. Try to eliminate them first. Try to search the premises. You might find some interesting documents. The later the enemy discovers you, the better. There is a chance to find some dynamite in the area to complete the mission, but we recommend equipping dynamite from the armory instead. Okay, let's have a look at this intelligence report. Our undercover operatives surveyed the mission site and secured the following information. Allies dispatching special forces for assistance. The following enemy units were seen at the mission site. So Wehrmacht soldiers, SS Division Todenkov, SS Division Adolf Hitler. Equipment of enemy forces at the site is cutting edge. Other important information or risks, the enemy has deployed snipers in the area. Mission difficulty easy, but the reliability of the provided information is 30%. Okay, so I <laughs> don't know whether to believe any of this, but we'll go ahead and jump on in. All right, here's our crew. And currently we have a soldier, medic, heavy gunner, sapper, commando, and another heavy gunner. I'm pretty sure we have a sniper. So let's maybe bring in Simon. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we have all different types ready to go. That'd be cool. Uh, we do need to probably edit his loadout, so let's just go to the armory and we'll drop in some ammo into his quick slot. That is absolutely fine. I don't think there's really much else that we want to do here. Let me just check the equipment of these other guys. Max needs some ammo in his quick slot. Actually, we could put the med kit in his quick slot is probably a better idea. All right, seems good. The only thing I did want to check is perks. I think we're all good on perks. We set most of that up previously. We do have the silent death perk down here. What does that do? Ability to throw knives and kill enemies without causing alarm. Oh, does he actually have knives? We do have throwing knives. Okay, that'll do. Perfect, we'll, we'll give that a go. Let's go ahead and start the mission. Here we are for an attack mission. This is an attack mission. To finish this type of mission, complete your objective and get your units to the exit points. Detection tiles. Stepping on a detection tile will alert the enemy to your presence and disable the hidden state of the unit that stepped on the detection tile. You start an attack mission with a hidden state active. If one of your units is discovered, the rest will remain hidden until spotted by an enemy. That is actually really interesting. That like your whole squad doesn't just get discovered and only one of them because you could maybe use that to your advantage to like draw enemies to one side of the map potentially. Okay, so we have Martin here. He's ready to go. Let's move him up. We gotta go and try and find out where the enemies are. Oh, there's one. Just as I say that. Okay, let's carry on a little bit more then. Get concerned about patrol in this game. I don't know which way he's gonna be heading, so. For all I know, he might just turn around and then we get spotted. Uh, but we'll leave him 
as is. Oh, the other thing we do probably want to do is kind of check the map out. Let me just hold Alt and see if there's anything of interest. So there's the objective. There's actually a crate here. There's the other objective. So those are the two 88s we've got to destroy. We've got a box here full of stuff. And there is also the TNT down here by the looks of things. Anything inside these buildings? Doesn't look like it. Nothing in the barn? Nope. What about in this building? There's an upstairs in this building. Ah yes, okay. There's a unit there's a objective in there, I guess. Yeah, so we got destroy two flak 88s and collect documents, and the documents are upstairs. Cool. Alright, so I'm glad I checked that. So now we actually know what we're doing properly. So, Max, uh, we will bring him over here. Cover me. And we'll also bring Carol over I'm here. On. Because as long as we don't step in the Let's detection tiles, I imagine we're not going to get spotted. Well, that's actually two guards there. So, I think we can probably just move out in the open. We'll send Alwyn over there. Uh, we can bring Charlie over here as well because it seems like there's two guys over here and one on that side. So we'll probably just leave Simon with Martin and we'll go from there. Okay, so he is moving away. That's good. And turn up the speed just a little bit. Okay. So we need to get into this house. Don't necessarily need to kill the guard. But let's just try and get in here with I'm Martin. Moving. And then maybe our sniper can follow us in. Okay. Cool. There's no one on the street by the looks of things. It might be worth me bringing my commando guy with the knife throw over to this side so that he can kill the Helenka guard without us having to worry about it. Cool. Then again, we could use Charlie to take out one of these guards. Monsieur, oui, monsieur. How much does he need to do that? Is that 22? Just gonna have them run up here and hopefully they don't turn around. <laughs> that would be unfortunate if they did. You got it. And we'll get our other men into positions to back him up if it all goes wrong. And I need someone to pick up this dynamite, so maybe we get Carol to do that. Or Alwyn actually. Alwyn has 28 AP, so he can go and do that. Carol only has 26 AP. So he can just get into position to lay down suppressive fire. Awesome. All right, let's end the turn there. These guys are continuing to move away. Good. All right. That might allow us to get a knife throw in. <laughs> that Helenka guard's gone to check the chickens. Very nice. Okay. Uh, do we have enough AP to pick up these documents? I wonder. I see an enemy. We do. Very nice. Uh, do I want to stay in these windows? We don't want to get spotted. I don't know where he's going to go from here, but I'll just come Charlie over to this side step. for the time being. All right, let's get Charlie to do his thing first. How much range do we need for this? <laughs> Okay. He needs quite a lot of AP to do this. We'll try and get inside here. Kind of chill nearby. Yeah, big problem with that knife throw is it seems like it requires a lot of AP. I'm ready. Okay. What's in that box? Small med kit. Alright, let's go get Max. 
and a normal med kit to go and pick that up. You got Nice. Alwyn can pick up the dynamite. Good. And Carol can move up here. Okay. So far, so good. Tempted to kind of... Sneak around here. I say sneak as he smashes open a window. Keeping our guys together might be a good idea. Is there a gap here? There is. I could probably try and run over here and help take out these two guards. We could also get Martin to come down the stairs and do the same. And then we can deal with these guys all together as well. I think that would be more efficient because then we get more shots on target because the guns in this game don't do like a crazy amount of damage. So you kind of need multiple shots on target to get the kills. Okay. That's everything done for our turn. That Vermax soldier. He's getting dangerously close. Let's do it. Let's just get down here. Take cover. I really want to try the silent death. We have twenty eight AP. We'll get nice and close. Cover me. I'll make sure Max is ready to give a hand. And it might be You're worth right. putting Carol in here. Alwyn needs to move up as well. Ikra. Right, as for our sniper, I'll put him here, ready to help out if needs be. I'll just put him in to hunker down, just in case. Where's he going? Is he going to spot us? Oh, okay, he didn't quite come far enough. There's another enemy here. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Martin's in a bad spot. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Silent death. Enemy body has been found. Ah, okay. They can see the enemy bodies. I like how that one shot so that's really good. The rest of my guys are still hidden. Monsieur. Oui, monsieur. They're just like looking around. Just do it again. Ah. <laughs> nice. Nous nous battons pour la liberté. That's so strong. That's ridiculous. Monsieur? Yes, I don't know what to do. If these guys are going to keep running around like headless chickens, then they might bump into my men, so I'm a bit <laughs> a bit wary of this. Uh, let's just I'm move moving. Martin back. Maybe we'll let's put him do here. Do and I'll have my sniper move over Go here. There. My sniper does have explosives, so we want to get close to the AT anyway. Owen has the other explosives. Yeah, let's just keep moving all of these guys up. Come up, Mother! Lower, lower! 
Could either of those drop their guns actually? Because guys in this game can drop their guns and therefore we want to like pick up the ammo if we can. It's like super important uh, for an ammo conservation and management in this game. Come up, mana! Loper, loper! That's your youngs! He's gonna spot us now for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're basically just like looking around for us. Okay. We can shoot that guy, but we should probably be in cover. Alright, well, that's a free shot. We can actually shoot him twice, I think. Yeah, we have enough AP to shoot him twice. Huge. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah, there's no way that we can't just like run up here and shoot him in the face. Yep. Beautiful. And that's why we have all of our guys next to each other. Okay. It would be really bad if an enemy had a grenade, but... It is what it is. Is there any more enemies over here? Doesn't look like it. I might be able to plant that explosive. The combat roll is my, like probably my favorite animation. <laughs> uh, let's bring Max over here. And then we probably want to bring our sniper over here as well at some point. Is Charlie still hidden? I don't think he is. Oh, another Wehrmacht soldier. Oh, ouch. Alright, well... I think we just keep shooting this guy. We don't have enough AP to shoot twice. We need 34. And we've only got 28. So we'll just make sure that we get the shot on target. With the aim. Oh, he's run away. It's fine. Charlie. <laughs> I wonder if he can still... Technically, use a knife throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have enough. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll run over here so he can't get shot again. Uh, Alwyn, we're gonna place the explosive, and he can get into cover. And my sniper. Come around here, has enough to get a shot on target. So let's do that. Oh wow, 78 damage? That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. I'm on it. Fatso Hölle. Scheiße. It's back to our turn. We can't get a shot on this guard, I don't think. I was thinking of flanking this Wehrmacht soldier. I'm ready. But to be honest, I think what we do is we just overwatch with both of these. Oh, I can actually shoot him from here. That's cheeky. Fortunately, we missed. It's okay. Let's just move up. Carl, Carl really, really isn't very good. Because he just lacks the AP to get anything done. He's kind of good, like on an MG, but we don't, obviously no MGs for us to man in this. He's got his BAR. 
Let's just get Simon into line of sight for the next turn. Alright, go on. We should have two shots here. Oh wow. It is a minus 40% aim modifier. So that would explain it. It's like the chap didn't have enough to actually fire at us, so we get the free kill there. Okay, let's just let Charlie take another shot. Perfect. Alright. Let's carry on then to the next objective. No more enemies over here that we don't know about, <laughs> thankfully. Oh, we're going to want to blow up this charge when we get the chance. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this Vermax soldier. He hasn't really been moving. Move your asses. Let's just get closer. Cover me, guys. I'm on my way. We'll have Carol just run round the other side. I think Howen might as well do the same. There's nobody on the road. Okay. Well, there is another one. Okay. I'm ready. Well, let's move here. We'll take the shot. I'm moving. Take another point blank shot. That is fine. Start just getting ground to the other side so that we can flank them. Oh wow, he could shoot Simon. I thought he was going to shoot Alwyn, but it's fine, I guess. Because they're next to each other, chance that it would hit both of them. He needs to reload. Okay, we'll take the shot. Just move over here and take the shot. Well, technically a flanking shot. That kind of does the job, I guess. You got it. Break it. Point blank, blank critical. I'll take it. We should get 200% shots here as well. Nice. He's dealt with. There's two grenades there in that box that we can pick up. We should definitely do that. And we'll make sure to go blow up that. Nous nous battons pour la liberté. I probably should have gone on the other side before I set the overwatch. I guess it doesn't matter that much. I'm just waiting for the guy to come out. Cover me! Dick move! Dick move! 
good. Pick up those grenades. We can actually detonate the explosive. I don't know how far away we need to be though. <laughs> so let's not do that. We'll just make sure that our men are at a safe distance. And then we'll explode it. Let's just get our win in cover. And then we'll detonate. That's 188 dealt with. And that's the second. All right. We can leave the area. I'm ready. Shame we can't Let's attack this it. bloke. Right, let's start moving like Charlie for example who's taking a bit of damage to the exit. Simon can also just leave. We don't have to wait for everyone else for him to leave so he can just get out of there. Right, we'll move these two as well. I think I accidentally ended Max's turn before he overwatched. Well, if that soldier doesn't want to play, I'm not going to walk into him and give him a shot for free. So we'll just get out of here. Move your asses. I'm going to go. They will regret it. Op uw bevel. Nous nous battons pour la liberté. Well, now you come out. <laughs> Chasing us down. I'm ready. Retaliation with every step. Okay. Leave the mission. Leave the mission. Leave the mission. And leave the mission. Beautiful. Mission complete. 82% successful shot percentage, that's nice. And our average damage was actually very high at 40. That's probably because of the 100 damage kills that we got from Charlie. Very nice. So by completing that mission, we now have more reputation with the Red Army. Very nice. And we should check on our boys. So, it looks like pretty much everybody involved in that mission leveled up. So let's go to the perks. For our sniper. When an enemy unit enters this radi unit's radius, this unit will shoot from their pistol if equipped in secondary slots with aim penalty. Ability to shoot at longer range. The unit gains weapon familiarity faster. More AP is definitely a good idea. Yeah, we definitely just get more AP. Such a good one for us to have. For our medic, maxing out healer could be handy, but it's only an extra 10%. Unit can't bleed would be nice. Also, chance the enemy would miss a shot that would otherwise hit is good for a medic, I imagine. As well as blessed, which unit takes less damage. I think that's a good one. For Carol, our heavy gunner. Well, we're going to just max him out on the machine gun there. He has leveled up twice, though. Unit can throw grenades further. Could be handy. Was that chance to detect enemy mines during movement? Could also be very handy. And that's actually going to be extremely helpful later on. Let's upgrade his attributes as well. 
So strength increases carry weight and damage of melee attacks. De uh, dexterity increases AP and hit chance. Intelligence increases weapon familiarity and XP gain. And then we got insurance, which is uh, damage taken by bleeding or burning. We'll probably go with dexterity. We just need to get the dexterity up on most of our characters here to increase their AP so that they can f like move and fire more efficiently. For our sapper, lowers enemy cover bonus, pretty handy. I assume that's just for him though. Chance that shooting the enemy in the back will cause an instant kill. That could be very nice. Unit can't bleed is always a good one, I imagine. Sapper can place or diffuse mines under soft surfaces and detect enemy mines. I think this is just a good one to have. And this silent death trait was really good. Ability to throw dice and kill enemies without causing alarm during an attack mission out of sight. So that says like 30%. Is that a 30% chance to not cause alarm? I guess that's what happened in our mission, where they all started running around like crazy because we we set off the alarm. When the unit is in danger of being hit by grenade shrapnel, they will cover on the ground and take less damage. Okay, kind of handy. I kind of like the idea of Silent Death not triggering alarm. We'll max that out, because that was super handy. Very, very strong. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, let me just check their equipment, because I'm pretty sure... Well, we want to go to the armory, I think. I think we'll have to do it when we actually go into a mission. But the idea being that I need to give him more knives, but I'm not sure we have more knives. I'm not sure where we get them from, so it might just be limited until our next mission. So let's see what the next missions will be. And unfortunately, it will be my time. It's been fun today. Uh, we've explored the attack missions for the first time. It looks like next time around, we'll either have what is basically an assassination mission, eliminate Sturm, Banfuhrer, Klaus, or the Red Army, or defend in Slovakia. Defend this point against advancing enemy, hold the position until brave soldiers of the Red Army arrive. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well both of those sound fun. But unfortunately, guys, that is it for today. I'll come back to one of those missions in the future. That is it for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed a look at another of the missions of Forgotten But Unbroken. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,